Hi, my name's Tim Wright from Paul Corporation and today we're going to look at the health and safety risks associated with changing an industrial filter assembly. And we're also going to look on how we can reduce the risks along the way. Okay, here we have a common filter assembly that we will see in, in industry. We have the filter head here and we have the bowl pointing downwards. Now this is a high pressure assembly, so we've got to remember this bowl is going to be quite heavy, probably around 15 kilos, and it's going to have a long thread that's quite fine. So the first thing we need to do is we need to read the operations in instructions, um, make sure there's no pressure in it, um, and then we look to remove the bowl, and we've also got to ensure that we've got adequate PPE to protect ourselves. Um, so we also, while we're doing it, we'll look at the health and safety risks along the way. Now, the health and safety executive provides guidance on the, 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 the position and the weight that a person should lift. So we need to look at that and make sure that we comply with the, the guidance. There is a legal obligation for employers to make sure that their staff are looked after when, when performing tasks such as this. Okay, so here we are, we're going to change our filter assembly. First thing we've got to do is ensure we've got the correct PPE on. So I've got my safety boots on, we've got protective clothing, I have my gloves, and I can't forget my glasses. Also, we're in a low noise area, so ear defenders aren't required. So what we're also going to need is the correct tools for the job, and we need a bucket to catch any spillage. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set the timer and see how long it takes us to change this filter assembly. Okay, so we've now followed the isolation procedures, we've depressurised the filter housing, so now it's safe to drain the bowl. So we take a suitable spanner, and we undo the drain, and be careful here because oil is going to start coming out and it may be hot. Now that most of the oil has been drained out of the filter housing, we'll put the drain plug back in so we don't get excess oil spilt on us. And take the appropriate spanner and we turn it towards us. Do a couple of turns and it should get loose enough so we can use our hands. So as mentioned earlier, these bowls are heavy and because I've got oil on my hands from draining it, the bowl gets quite slippery. So we've just got to be careful here that we don't injure ourselves. So it's nearly ready. Okay, we lost it a bit there. Now that we see we've wasted a couple of litres of oil and we need to change a new element now. So that's what we're going to do next. So we've got our new element now. Now it's time to reassemble the housing. We've lubricated all the O-rings. So we put the element on the spigot. We check that there's no damage to the bowl. Now this is the fun part. I may need some help, but I'll give it a go myself. So we've got to make sure that we don't cross thread that it's I'm not having much luck here. I'm quite slippery and the bowl's quite heavy. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna call in for some help. Tony, can you give me a hand here please mate? Okay, if you take the weight, whoop. If you can take the weight on that Tony, I'll try to get the thread in. I think we nearly got it, Tony. Ah, that's fine. Thanks for your help, Tony. So as we can see there, it took two of us a couple of minutes to get on. The bowl's quite heavy. I've got oil all over my hands, so it makes it quite difficult to put back on. So we're nearly there. And then we get the, the correct spanner again, and we'll tighten up to the, the required torque setting, which is in the service manual. Right, 
that should about do it. And don't forget the drain plug. So there we go, we finished. As you can see, it took two of us to do that and it was quite a hard job. Let's recap on the health and safety risks associated with changing the filter element. One, we have the weight and the potential for injury. Two, we have the exposure to the operator of the hydraulic oil. Three, we have the environmental impact of disposing of two to three litres of hydraulic oil. So, how do we complete this task quickly and safely and reduce the hazards? The solution is an improved filter design where we can change the filter element without removing the bowl. This is the Paul Athlon filter assembly. We notice the head is at the bottom along this firm flat surface, the bowl is upwards and we have a cap here to serve as the filter element. So we're going to use the same procedures as we did before, the same tools, same PPE. So let's start the timer and we'll change the element. As with the previous filter assembly, we've isolated the system, we depressurized it, now it's time to drain. We take a suitable container, place it under the drain, open it up, but this time we only need to take a small amount of oil out. Next, we've got to grab a spanner and remove the cap. So we simply unscrew the cap. Already it seems a lot easier than the previous filter. Again, this has a long thread, but we don't have the weight of the bowl. So I think by now I could take that off by hand, unscrew the cap, see how the lugs engage. We check the o-rings, we put it down o-ring first into the housing. We've lubricated these and simply back on a couple of turns with the hand and then we can use the spatter. You see that was a lot easier than the previous one. Nearly done. That's it. We're all done. As we saw, that was quick and easy. I didn't require any help from Tony. We had it all done within a couple of minutes. And most importantly, the weight. The cap only weighed a couple of kilos instead of 13 kilos for the other one. No task in any industrial environment is without some risk. But in this case, Accounting for all the same actions, Paul Athlon filter assemblies have managed to reduce operator health and safety risk by over 50%. This is good news for employers as it reduces the liability risk, simplifies your maintenance and reduces labour and gets your production back online quicker, all doing so with minimal fluid loss. This product, you also maximise the protection of your system whilst maintaining exceptional fluid cleanliness and extending fluid life. For more information on the Paul Atheline range, please visit our website. Thanks for watching.